Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Spirit Guide message reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps this channel out and makes me unbelievably happy, so thank you so much for doing so. If you are interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let's let the bulls sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Spirit guide message for Leo, Leo. Spirit guide message for Leo, Leo. Spirit guide message for Leo, Leo. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. So the left hand side is the inner self, the middle, the heart, the emotional self, the right hand side, the public arena, the public self, and at the bottom is our rooted self. So let's see what the cards have to say. We have the three of cups and the seven of swords. Interesting. We have the Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords, the repeat of the number seven, warning by spirit just to always tell the truth during this time. Not that you wouldn't, but with the number seven coming out, if you tell even like the littlest of lies or mistruths or say something to one person and say a different thing to another, this is a time where things get called out. So just be mindful of that. Then we have the Fool and the Queen of Wands. We're represented by the Wands in the Minor Arcana. We're represented by the Strength card in the Major Arcana. So here we're coming through. There's an adventure we're starting on. There's a beginning that's coming together, which is really nice. The Five of Cups and the Hangman. Interesting. Okay. Let's see our Chakra Energy for this time. Spirit guide message for Leo, Leo. Spirit guide message for Leo, Leo. Spirit guide message for Leo, Leo. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. Angels and masters, this is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. So we're really protected by our angels. The alignment of our chakras is coming in. So we're going to feel ourselves becoming more aligned with who we want to be, how we want to move forward, what it is that we desire, where it is that we want to move forward to. And there's a level of protection here because we can see from the cards that there's a dissatisfaction. It's kind of like, I need to move forward. We want an adventure. Our hearts are longing for something more. And we're, we're taking that leap, we're taking that jump, and we're also going to have a lot of stuff brought up where it's like our hurts, our pains, our disappointments, our fears, the disasters of the past making us think, oh, I can't move forward the way that I want to, but we can. It might not be the way that we initially imagined it would be, but there is, there's, is a power to us. So what is the energy that spirit needs Leo to be mindful of 
What is the energy that spirit needs Leo to be mindful of? Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. The King of Pentacles. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's boiling everything down to money. It's seeing how everything is interconnected, but in a way of of work and and kind of like one rule after another after another and not letting things come organically, not letting things come creatively to us. We're going to be a little bit too too focused only on results and results are important money is important it you know it gives an ease to life that is that is beautiful and astounding but what we need to be mindful of is the old adage to not make you know to make money to not make money the aim to not make everything boil down to how will this move me forward how will this you know add to my prosperity how will this you know make me look and boil everything down just to image and brand and and everything like that it's kind of like no step back step back and let's start having a life let's start looking at things from the heart and from the soul and from the expression of the organic holistic self that's going to be really important and we're going to also have to be mindful of having it, people in our lives just boiling it all down to what have you achieved how are you moving forward you, where where are you on the scheme of of success but in the level of don't stop just keep going just keep working and it doesn't matter how broken your heart is or how you know devastated you are it's just like just keep plowing forward so that's what we have to be very mindful of during this time because spirit is saying i'm with you i'm guarding you i'm watching you i'm putting you in alignment and what's coming up here at our root, the Three of Cups for me has always been and probably will always be the sense of the people who have celebrated us but couldn't be there for us, who were supposed to be on our side but just kind of walked away, couldn't be there, couldn't uphold their, their part of the bargain. The lovers that we've had that we thought, wow, this is it. This is my, my one true love who walk away. The friends who can't follow through or who go their own way and we sit there and we think, wow, my heart is broken because I don't have that backing that I thought I have. The family that, you know, might not be able to, to back us the way that we want them to or couldn't be there for us. Just being a parent, being a sibling, being, you know, a whomever, they weren't any good at it. And so they walked away. They had their own lives. They did their own things. But it couldn't be supporting us. It couldn't be in the way that we needed them to be or in the way that they should have been. With the Seven of Swords, it's gathering up our knowledge, gathering up our information and moving forward. And people might be thinking we're sneaky because we don't need to tell it to everybody. This is going to be a time where this is like the bragging energy. This is the, the King of Pentacles to be mindful of in its negative form. It's bragging everything down and breaking everything down to how successful can I be? You know, how much can I, can I pull forward? Can I earn? And there's nothing bad about that. So I'm having a bit of, of this battle because it's like, okay, I want to be successful. I want to move forward here. But to make life only that, Spirit is saying, you're moving yourself away from the joy of existence, from the beauty of a sunset or the laughter with family and friends and, and people that we love and being be able to go outside and just hear the birds sing. If it's always, it has to be productive. It has to be, you know, moving towards a, a goal of, of more, more, more. There will be no time to enjoy our lives. And that's what Spirit is saying here. Yes, that's exactly what spirit is saying here. So it's not not to be ambitious. Ambition is is fantastic. Not to have that entrepreneurial spirit, that's fantastic. But also to balance things. And here, we're gathering up the information. And we're moving forward. We're learning more and more to rely on ourselves, to look at what we need, what we desire, where it is that we want to be, and leave some things behind that just aren't beneficial to us. They, they aren't helping us anymore. And as we leave it behind, we embrace what we want, what we desire, and the way that we're moving forward. Also, we have to be mindful of people that we're trusting being sneaky. They have their own agenda. And Spirit is saying, listen, we also have our own agenda. And we have to keep our eye on the goal of our hearts, of what we desire, of the prosperity we want to bring into our lives, but in a way that has a beautiful work-life balance coming forward. Then we have the Four of Swords. We need to rest. If we do not take care of ourselves, spirit will make it so that we have to slow down. We're going to have a tendency during this time to burn the candle at both ends, to sit there and to say, I can just keep pushing, just keep pushing. No, spirit's saying, step back, step back and rest. Look at everything that you've been through, everything that you've gone through. And this isn't 
self-pitying time. This is a time to say, I respect everything that I have been through, everything that has forged me, everything that has shaped me. I honor myself. And by honoring myself and by respecting myself, I move forward in power. I move forward in dignity. I move forward in, in tenacity. And then we have the Six of Swords. In our inner selves, we're gathering up that information just as we're doing at our root. And now we're moving forward. We're not leaving anything behind here. We're taking what we need. We're taking the inner child, or it can be we're taking our family with us. And we're moving on the waters, on the waters of our emotion as we gather up our knowledge. We're moving towards what we love. We're moving towards an unknown. We're moving towards an adventure. It's hard work. There's doubts and there's fears going along with this. But there's a sense of this is what I need to do to get to where I need to be. And it moves us to our heart because our heart needs to be expressed during this time. We're going to have a tendency, and it's going to be really strong, to ignore our heart. And if we ignore our heart, we ignore ourselves. So that's going to be something that we have to be very, very mindful of. The, the Fool is this celebratory adventure. It's the fear of starting, and it's the needing to start. It's saying, I can go, and it's saying, I don't want to. And so it's understanding that everything that we do no matter how much we wanted the journey to begin or how much we wanted to be on this adventure, it's terrifying. It's overwhelming. It comes with a series of doubts, a series of fears, a series of just overwhelming what ifs. But it's also leading us to the place where we are embracing being the queen. This isn't a time where everybody needs to see us or even that we want to be seen. The queen of, of wands is passion and fire and tenacity and brilliance. But the queens for me are always behind the scenes. That are the directors behind the scenes, the people who take everything in, who look at it, who make sure everything is moving just so. And we have the little black cat here, which symbolizes magic. We are starting our journey and both have the wand. One, you know, as a staff, the other to hold the load. And so here we're embracing our passion in both adventures with the with the Major Arcana card, there's this sense of, I have to. I have to start this new adventure. I have to move in this direction. I have to you know, head towards where my heart needs to be, towards what I long for. There's going to be something that happens during this time where logically we're thinking, okay, I have to gather everything up. I have to honor where I've been, but I'm going to have to go for it. I'm going to have to go after where I truly want to be what I, I, truly, I truly need. And it brings us to being that stoic figure within ourselves, to taking and sitting on that throne and taking that throne and saying there's a new dawn coming. There's new passion. There's new tenacity. There's new understanding. I'm not afraid to roll my sleeves up, to get my hands dirty, to go after what it is that I want. And it brings us to the five of cups and the hangman. This is a time in the public arena where we really have to start changing the way that we see things because there's a sense, spirit is just saying negative Nelly. There's, there's a sense of looking at things and being a little bit of a downer during this time, a negative Nelly to ourselves, looking at the heartbreak, the pain, the disappointment, the people who were supposed to have our backs that couldn't, coming back to that rooted energy of the three of cups and saying, oh no, I can't. And what we're not seeing is the two of cups behind us. What we're not seeing is the loving, healing, united energy that is moving us forward, that is celebrating with us, that is having us embrace our hearts and what we desire. And so here with the hangman, again, it's saying change your mind and change your life. It's time to look at things differently. It's time to embrace esoteric wisdom or wisdom that simply aligns with our souls, simply aligns with ourselves. We might be thinking, oh, I can't think this. I can't feel this. I can't be like this because it's not what everybody else is. It's like, well, it doesn't matter what everybody else is. It matters who we are. And it matters how we're expressing our genuine feelings, our hopes, and our dreams. And Spirit is saying, look at things differently. Look at things differently and release the pain. Release the pain and honor the self for everything that you've been through, everything that you have overcome, everything that you desire. So the public arena, there's going to be this feeling of feeling like a misfit, of feeling like I just don't fit in the way that I want to fit in. And you're not supposed to fit in during this time. You're supposed to stand out. Queens don't fit in. They stand out. So let yourself stand out. Let yourself be empowered. Let yourself move forward. It moves you to your subconscious chakra message, which is self-mastery. This is the solar plexus chakra, and this is a sense 
of understanding ourselves, which is what this time is all about. It's respecting and honoring the pain that we've been through. And the reason why we can't just kind of delve into our work or we're being warned not to make our work and our, our profit, how we define ourselves is, that because, is because that's going to be really easy for us to sit there and to have this turmoil mentally, to feel, feel different, to feel out of sorts. It's like, okay, I'll prove to everybody I'm worth it. And it's going to be in the language that everybody speaks, money, or what they value as much as money. So it can be, you know, looks, it can be, you know, extreme dieting, it can be something that makes us feel that we have control. And what Spirit is saying is like, no, 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 don't go down that path. Don't go down, down that path. Embrace the alignment of self, the beauty of soul, and, and the passion of what we desire before we, we extreme ourselves out of, out of that beautiful connection with Spirit. This is time to listen to our guts, to listen to the energy that's so important to us, and to, to really embrace who we are and what we love. It brings us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of, and that's the Prince of Swords. The Prince of Swords is that energy of, I have to move forward, I have to go after what I want. Charging, 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 charging. This is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a sense of, of not thinking things through. So we're not going to want to think things through. We're going to want to just say, I can go after the results. That sounds, something, that sounds like something that's, that's kind of good. I'm not going to put too much research into it or look at it too deeply. I'm just going to keep going. And so here, it's like, no, rein it back just a bit. And then it leads us to our subconscious tarot message, which is the sun. If we embrace our hearts, because our hearts have the big hitter cards right here, have the fool and have the queen of wands. If we embrace our hearts, if we align ourselves with spirit and not with the, the mundane world, and if we say, this is what I truly long for, this is what I truly want, we're going to start to see ourselves be able to celebrate in joy and in prosperity who we are. There's a sense of, of radiance shining from us, just this, this beauty that, that can't be ignored. And so this beauty shines forward, we shine forward, and there's just this sense of there's so much more here than I ever could have imagined. And yes, when we let this light shine, people are going to take us by eyes. They're going to want to wish us ill, and that's fine. They can do whatever it is that they want to do. We need to be in alignment with our hearts, our souls, and ourselves, to be empowered, to be emboldened, and to move forward with grace and elegance. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all, and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the light and the love of spirit. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo.